When I think about the major differences between high school and college, there are two things that come to mind. One is the level of responsibility that students are expected to assume for their own learning. In high school, for example, they were in class every single day. The teacher laid out exactly what the objectives were. They got lots of worksheets. They had review sessions before exams. And so there was very little that the students had to do outside of class. I mean, there was homework that they had to do, um, but not nearly to the extent that the uh, situation is in college where most of the learning is expected to take place outside of class. The instructors will provide lectures, they'll provide experiences in class, but then the students are expected to spend, oh, probably two to three hours outside of class for every hour that they spend in class. And I think many students are not prepared for this. And the other difference is the level at which the learning occurs in college. In high school, students, uh, well, students tell me that if they were very good memorizers, then they did fairly well. But in college, they've got to be able to apply the information. They've got to be able to analyze. They've got to be able to create their own ideas. There are lots of projects. There are lots of term papers that they have to do. And so what I find is that many students, when they come to college, they have that memorization thing down. They're very good at memorizing, and they're expecting tests and quizzes that will see how much they, how well they memorize the information. But instead, when they get to the test or quiz, they see questions that they didn't expect because they're things that are requiring them to apply that information to totally new situations that they haven't seen before. And that seems to be very challenging for a lot of students.